Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. We're on another episode of Narcos Season 2, Episode 8. My face is a little shiny. I have some cream on it. I had a really bad allergic reaction to something and then my skin started to fall off. <laughs> so it's like greased up right now. My skin stopped falling off so that's a good thing. Uh, stop peeling. I do have to keep up the ointment and keep the dryness down. Last episode. Uh, gosh. We're back to All Out War. Pablo causing more mayhem. Um, he was really pissed off last episode because his, well, he tried to get his family to Germany to escape the country so that Los Pepes or anybody else can't get to them and use them as leverage against Pablo. His plan didn't exactly work out. President Gaviria plus the DEA are all trying to work to not get that to happen and it didn't happen. Pablo was pissed. He decided to retaliate in a way that affects the public once more, he bombed, I guess, like a little market area by Gaviria, killed a bunch of people, a bunch of children. And this is the one thing, like I said, I didn't understand about the attorney general. He is willing to pardon a terrorist and give the terrorist equal rights to the people. He terrorizes the public and you're still willing to give him the same courtesies as every other citizen. I'm curious to see... I mean, he's still probably gonna be on Pablo's side after this because that attorney general, he's he's definitely a piece of work, a piece of something, okay? That's for sure. Um, Los Pepes, they're a little, yeah, they're troublemakers, that's for sure. The Gaviria kind of let them do their thing for a little bit. Their tactics were working enough to scare him, but they, they're just too extreme. They killed uh, Fernando, which, I mean, fair enough, but they also killed his child, which is like, What's the point? What's the point of doing that? So Los Pepes are definitely gonna have to be taken care of soon, hopefully. It's bad. We're in a bad climate right now. Everybody is just, everybody killing everybody basically. Back to being a very bad situation, not just for the government or Pablo, but for the entire country, um, for Colombia. All right, well, that was pretty much last episode. So let's go ahead and start watching this one. No one could deny he got to fall. Oh yeah, for sure. The whole nation was enraged. Oh good. And no hiding from it. Ha, it's good. Hi. Forgive you. You're the one who parked Los the car. Civiles, inocentes, murieron en ese atentado. Eso fue un acto de terrorismo. Puro. Thank you. Por eso. Finally. Protejan a mi familia de esos malparidos de los pepes. Su seguridad es nuestra mayor preocupación. Oh my, it's utmost? I thought it was utmost, whatever. Yo no tengo esa clase de poder. Pues más le vale que encuentre esa clase de poder. Porque yo hice... And still the attorney general, like... Now that you have them in your protective custody, you could use it against him. But now, the attorney general, la 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 la. Yeah, he really did. Quiero verte en un avión rumbo a Miami. Oh, are they gonna move in? Minnesota. Okay, yeah. Intel suggests that his inner circle has been reduced to a few loyal Sicarios. Everyone makes passing. Mm -hmm. Your Sicarios, that's radio chatter for me to trace. Oh. They had a tap put on that lawyer's phone, but they also killed his son. Yes. His wife, but they also stabbed viciously his innocent mother. Oh my God! They went after but his I whole family. That truth. Yeah, you caused that, sir. To, someone has been in contact with those pepes, and while it's <laughs> Murphy, me, <clears throat> there's no, but the man standing over Escobar when this is over needs to be a Colombian police officer. Yes. Oh, I think Pena's done working with them for now. Is, well, is he allowed to be done working with them? I don't know. Because they were supposed to be killing him, but then the other guy showed up, so. Does that mean he's out? <laughs> I'm gonna like it when I try to get myself out of it. Oh, so he's still not out of it. Okay. You can protect yourself first. You didn't know anything. Aww. He's trying to protect Murphy. <laughs> They're all the way on the top. Oh, his wife looks out the window. Oh, he's lying. He's like, I want to go home. Oh, <gasps> do they see him? Oh, uh oh. Oh, 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 see, you shouldn't be on a bridge. The bombing had shocked even his staunchest supporters. Mm -hmm. 
many of the folks of Medellin who had always protected him were seeing him in a different light. Could, finally, it took you 12 years. If the paisas we keep united in this, we will have to decide what will happen with each one of us. Oh, okay. Pablo Escobar is still alive, that you can see him now. You got a little spy in your mitts. Oh, they're doing it? Okay. Well, good to know. There is the information. You can't have a conversation out in the open anymore, can you? Without somebody spying on you. Uh oh. And go bomb the place. He doesn't look okay. I'm wondering if he's gonna start betraying him next. The thing about drug dealers is you can't trust them for shit. <laughs> yeah. The moment Callie offered him a better deal. Yeah. He welcomed his new partners with open arms. He's like, ah, that's great. He had introduced them to Pablo's bankers, his smugglers, all of it. Oh, wow. But Pablo did stone the crown jewel in his empire <laughs> right out from under. That's kind of funny. And they didn't even have to fire a shot. Yeah. He was so busy with things going on in Colombia. Didn't even realize what was happening in Miami. <laughs> Oh, that's an interesting move to make. Why is she calling her, especially when she hates her? To them, holding his family was not only immoral, but it could lead to more violence. <laughs> An upcoming presidential election made it a big issue. Oh, there no. Of... Oh, you? this... Why? Why are you still helping him? Oh, is this gonna be Valeria? Yeah, okay. So she's gonna send a message. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh, loyal to the end. Okay, don't be so sure of that. Uh oh, so they're gonna pin you to the bombing. I mean, you literally have residue on you. What do you mean? Oh, okay. Damn, they turn on each other so quick. <laughs> Means uh, we have to drive around Medellin, hoping to get lucky, and Makika's using his phone. He will be, because we'll be calling him with Blackie's phone. Oh. Who else is gonna show up? We'll, we'll track it down. Just us. Oh. Was he insinuating something there? Hey. Look at you. Come on, Oh, maybe. That guy was in the room. Okay. So, is that a yes or no? Did you give him a call or not? Oh, wow. Yeah, because otherwise they'll take it away from you. You're welcome. Oh, she's just kind of standing there. That's a little awkward. Oh, they're doing an interview. That's why. <laughs> Oh, okay. I guess that's nice. Well, I don't know. Go hang out in the kitchen or something. It's a fancy teacup. Oh, God, it's this guy. Señor Presidente, aquí tengo una lista de posibles lugares seguros para la familia Escobar. They can't just send them to any country and, like, expect it to be let in, right? Like, they, the countries themselves have to agree to it. Parece que le han informado mal. Oh. La familia Escobar no va a ningún lado. Oh. Usted sabe lo que eso significa. I think he knows. No va a ser el responsable. Usted va a ser el responsable. Sus promesas y negociaciones solamente nos han traído más. Yeah, really. Y a él lo ha hecho más fuerte. Okay. Turn it on him. Te estás quedando en esta posible, hermano. Wait, what? This is a dump? You're dead. My eyes are... Oh my god. Bro, my eyes too are doing that. I don't understand why. Oh, what's going on? Is she dead, Valeria? Pablo's... Ew, ew. Right outside the hotel, too. I was gonna hit him really hard, too, because I think he liked Valeria. Valeria? Valeria. 
That's kind of scary, though, because, like, if they were able to get that close to the hotel and have that whole scenery done, then, like, they could probably sneak in pretty easily and get to his wife and children. Because, like, where the hell were all the police officers? Yeah. You're going to shoot up the place? That guy looks... I don't even know. I don't know how to describe him. He doesn't look like he's there. Okay. God, he's so aggressive. He had a real chance of tracking the Kika. We just needed a little look. Well, he's in town. Kika. <laughs> that was good, my friend. Oh, no. Oh, God. Is he gonna answer it, though? Oh, man, he's stupid. <laughs> Again with the what's up, Kika. <laughs> At that point, you might as well just sing him a song. Like, oh, really? Only 50,000? 500? Jesus. Only 500,000? <gasps> Aww. What is he doing though? Is he taking the money and running? There he is. What is he doing? Oh, going that way. <laughs> I don't know how these people do car chases, honestly. Oh, it's the. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say, it seems so chaotic, and like I'd be crashing left and right. I mean, I played Grand Theft Auto, and that's all I ever did was crash. That has to be like part of the job description, right? As like a cop, you gotta be able to go on car chases. Oh god, yeah. Ooh. I swear to god, there is like 20 of you. Oh good. Oh good. Yes, get him alive. And the guy credited for putting the Avianca bomber on the plane. Oh, that's right. But he was also his most trusted guy. And if we could get him to flip. Oh, that's ironic. Most trusted guy. He was literally betraying him. Okay. <laughs> Weird noises going on in my room. One by one, they all come tumbling down. What is Pablo doing? The majority of this episode has just been him wandering around the place um it feels like we're gonna get him but i know we're probably not gonna get him so that's a little worrisome oh you give us Pablo escobar and i'll take you there myself in a body bag <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not gonna be as luxurious as it once was, especially for you. Snitch, snitches get stitches. The narcos always talk about loyalty. Till their own asses I know. Are online. That's what I was saying. Like, y'all are some backhanded fools. I mean, it makes sense at this point because it is like Pablo's downfall. He got. We're in camino. You stay okay. Oh. Oh no. It, it's the tone. Oh god, my eye, my eyes burning again. Why? It's the tone in his voice that's giving it away. He's probably not going to be there now. God, why is he so bad at lying? Oh. Oh, what's he doing? It's not going to be him, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Fuck this! Pain a Fuego! Vamos, fuego! Oh, wow. Well, I mean... I guess 
take out his army for what little he has left of it. Yeah. It's just you, bud. Don't know where he's gonna go now. He's probably gonna go into hiding. Literally everybody around Pablo, except for Lemon, is dead or in jail or something. It was funny to see his most loyal followers started betraying him this episode. Like there was Blackie, he had him plant the bomb and he wasn't really okay with it. Whenever he was sticking out Tata, he lied to Pablo and he got caught, then he turned in Kika and then he was already gonna betray him, steal the money, probably bounce to a different country. They got him and he was willing to turn in Pablo. He is definitely down in the dirt. He doesn't, I don't think he has much money left. I mean, he should, cause he literally was like burying money in different places. Don't know if he can, cause I think they said they only had 500,000 to pay off, like a little, the little army they had, the amount of men, but now they're all dead. Um, and that money's probably gone cause I think Kika had it. How much money does he have left? I don't know, but can he afford another army? Can he do that? I don't know. And on that too, He's not going to be getting any more money. Not going to get any more shipments of money from Miami or anything like that because the Cali cartel has moved in on his territory. So yeah, I really don't think he's going to have very much money left. He's going through it pretty fast. But like I said, we have another season to go. So obviously something, something's going to have to turn for him. So where he's, uh, he gets money somehow or has another supporter somewhere or something along those lines. I'm glad that Gaviria stood up to the attorney general. He, every time he's on screen, it absolutely blows my mind with his way of thinking. Good thing that he's stuck to his guns, but the only problem is because they killed, La Los Pepes killed Valeria. They were very close to the hotel, so it's like, are they gonna get in? They're not watching the doors very good, are they? For Gaviria to use Pablo's family as leverage, go for it. I'm fine with that. And to keep him there, but the only thing is like Los Pepes, because like they're, they're not afraid of killing children. They're, they like to play with dead bodies. Like I, they're just, they're too messed up. So like the fact that Los Pepes is very close to them is making me a little nervous. All right, well, that was a very depressing episode, not for me, but for Pablo. It was great for me, but for him, very probably depressing. So I think that's gonna be it for today's reaction. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next one. So goodbye, and have a nice life.